Naper Settlement welcomed a new Harry attraction on Wednesday that will be Howlin' at the Moon during the museum's upcoming Halloween events. This 15-foot-tall werewolf structure was created by local artist Paul Kuhn and Luke Salveson. Naper Settlement reached out to the two to collaborate on a structure for the museum's All Hallows Eve and Howlin' at the Moon events. I think they suggested maybe like a skull or a jack-o'-lantern, you know, something along those lines, and then we saw the name of the event. And it seemed like uh, the natural thing to do, make a, make a wolf fan, right? The steel structure required a lot of welding, cutting, bending, and painting to become the completed werewolf. During the process, Salveson and Kuhn, who he calls his artner, would sometimes focus their attention on different parts of the structure. Like for instance, Paul ended up doing like that whole tree. I didn't even really touch it. Um, I ended up doing a lot of the head while he was doing other stuff. Kuhn and Salveson also received support from another artist who helped the duo complete the werewolf structure in less than a month. Uh, we got in touch with Don to come through and like, oh man, so much of that paint job you see is, is Don Mega, so thank you Don Mega. The sculpture is now set at its new Halloween home and the museum is thrilled with the addition. A lot of their artwork they create for festivals across the country and so it's amazing to have, you know, a Naperville artist have his artwork displayed here at Naperville at Naper Settlement. Guests can get a glimpse of the werewolf during the family-friendly All Hallows Eve event on October 20th and 21st or at the 21 and Up Howlin' at the Moon event on October 27th and 28th. Get used to seeing this face as it will return to Naper Settlement's Halloween events each year. I think it's going to really wow people um, just because of how large it is and how unique it is. And again, we never had anything, you know, on Naper Settlement like this. So we're excited. For Naperville News 17, I'm Jesus Cortez.